In today's YouTube video, I'm going to be breaking down some money plays for you out of the Saints Offensive Playbook in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to my channel, what I do on my YouTube channel is I break down Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day here on YouTube. I upload videos at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, and at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And I also live stream every single night of the week uh, at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern, Madden 21. Uh, actions basically answer your question so if you're looking to get better at this game i would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen now i've been getting a lot of questions about the saints offensive playbook in madden nfl 21 and i wanted to take today's video and kind of go through what i would do you know if i was working with you know this this playbook exclusively i think the saints playbook is kind of a classic it's a you know sean payton's a very brilliant uh, offensive mastermind and so uh, they've got some really, really good things in their playbook that most playbooks don't all uh, have. For example, this Taysom Hill package um, here. You also have the Taysom Hill QB here where you can run QB Blast. You can run um, all of these different routes. But the formation that I'm going to focus on today is the tight offset tight end. Um, and I really, really like this formation. I think it brings a lot to the table. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over this play Saints in. And especially if you have like a hot route master quarterback, not all of you are going to have that, but because Rich Gannon now is able to get hot route master and Mutt, um, I actually think that hot route master and gunslinger co to combined is the best way to play offense. So if you have uh, regs, I would use the bucks. If you're playing Mutt, I would definitely use uh, Rich Gannon as your quarterback. If you can afford it, if you're not, then, you know, we'll, we'll, sh we'll share some different ideas as well uh, in this video. So saints in this play beats every coverage, including man to man. And what you're going to notice is this route um, to Scotty Miller. This is the primary reason I really like this play, actually. Um, his route and Chris Godwin's route. So first and foremost, I just want to show you um, how this play does with no adjustments. You don't have to make any adjustments to it. All you got to do is snap the ball. And what you'll notice on this play is this route to Chris Godwin is going to torch man coverage. As you can see, he's going to get inside position every single time, and he's going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. You don't want to change that route. The only thing you might want to do with the route is actually motion it out just so to make sure it gets unbumpable. But as you can see there, when you motion him out, it kind of messes with the route a little bit and you know just doesn't do as well against man-to-man -man coverage. And the big thing about it being compressed is if you have someone like Chris Godwin who has Slotomatic, he's going to activate on this on this route most of the time, as you can see right there, and be able to get that clean catch against man-to-man. -man. And the next thing I want to show you as far as this man, uh, as it goes to man-to-man, -man, is this route to the back out of the backfield. What you'll see is this is a very simple route. It's going to get open every single time against man-to-man -man coverage, especially if you have a Reggie Bush there or a backfield master ability. That's going to be a really, really easy way to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Now, this uh, other route, this drag route, absolutely torches his uh, his defender. And that's one of the beauties of the tight offset tight end. Um, it's going to allow you to beat man-to-man -man coverage. It's going to allow you to beat it at a very high clip, in fact. Um, you'll see that you're going to get a nice natural pick and a natural rub over here on this right side. If they run press man coverage, that's what allows Scotty Miller to be able to get so wide open against the man-to-man -man coverage is that little natural pick and rub. And actually what I like to do with this little formation here is I will oftentimes create almost like a bunch look here with, with Gronk and bring him over here. And, and, and I might put him, you know, if I have Hot Route Master, I might put him on a, a corner route, right? Uh, something simple or tight end apprentice um, because it's going to, again, it's just going to continue with these natural picks and natural rubs. Now, the one thing you got to make sure that when you throw that route to Miller is that he does ultimately go on the, across the formation. If he doesn't do that, um, then you're going to run into issues like this. Now, one of the things you'll notice too with this offense is, for example, I could put the tight end on a zig and I could motion him to the left side. Um, this is going to be some natural man beaters that you can kind of weave into this formation. You'll see that this zig um, is going to absolutely torch his man coverage because he's going to become unbumpable. Now, I wouldn't necessarily do it on this play, but be aware that you can certainly do that. If you have a tight end apprentice, when you motion him across, he's going to become a tight end. So maybe something as simple as a little high-low concept right here with these two post routes coming over one another. And as you can see, Scotty Miller's route is going to beat man-to-man -man every time. So what do you do when they start to go to shading their coverage over top, right? Shading their coverage outside, shading their coverage over top. Now this is where things are going to get really good for your offense. Um, you're going to be able to do a lot of different things. All of your man-beating routes are still going to beat man, but what's really nice is this route on the left side, if he does not get pressed, he will typically get really good separation. Um, 
he will typically get really, really good separation against man-to-man -man coverage. So you see here, if I just motion over the tight end, you know, basically just put him on a post route or something over the middle of the field, and then you'll see this outside guy right here, right on that cut, is going to be able to get that separation, especially if he has a route running advantage against the quarterback. Okay, so you have a couple of different options that you can do uh, with this as far as it goes, uh, as far as it's related to man-to-man. -man. Now, let's say they run zone coverage. What I love about Scotty Miller's route is it's going to sit against zone. So it's going to come across here, um, but it's going to settle up right there. And you can easily low ball that against most zone coverages in the game that you're going to face. But basically what you're going to do on zone is a lot of times you're going to hit either the running back, the drag, or the tight end. The route to Mike Evans um, is going to kind of serve as a pool route for the flat zones and stuff like that, open up windows and open up space for you to be able to hit LaShawn McCoy. Now, one thing I do want to show you about this route to um, about this route to Mike Evans, and that's if they're not playing hard flats, you'll see that you can actually hard, especially if you have that gunslinger or that pass lead elite ability, you can actually uh, really get this ball out there, and it can work for you against a lot of different coverages. You'll see it's going to get outside, and it kind of it's almost like that speed out is really what it looks like. So if they're if they're you know not hard flatting on the left side, you're going to be able to hit that route. Just be aware of that. Um, obviously, uh, cover four is probably going to be best against cover four. Something like this right here. You'll see he's just going to really he he really gets to the outside of the for outside of the field um, on this. So you know just be aware of that that's something that you can mix in. And what's really nice is you know again if they're running something like a cover two or something like that you'll see that they're going to pull, you know, that route to Mike Evans is going to pull the flat zones out. So they're really going to have to mable both sides. But what's really nice about your running back is let's say that they do something like this, right? Let's say that they, they mable coverage you, right? They're going to run a mable, uh, which means they're just going to have a hard flat and a, and, a, and a cloud flat, right, basically. You'll see how this opens up this route to McCoy because there's not going to be, obviously in this scenario, it's a little bit of an over, um, you know, max coverage type setup. But if they don't have that yellow zone there, you know, you're not going to have to deal with anything as far as it pertains to LaShawn McCoy. Now, the beauty of putting the tight end on a post route, if you can do that, is this is just going to open up the middle of the field even more for your, your deep route to Chris Godwin. That route's going to get underneath every zone in the game, so you're going to be able to fit that in into tight windows and be very effective with that as well. So a lot of quick reads from this play. This is one of my favorite plays in the entire game just because of how it works. I mean, and, and you could even do something like, I mean, you could put your tight end on a crossing route. There's no reason you couldn't, as you can see right here. Um, and if they're not, you know, because of the way the routes are going to work together, that crossing route creates a, a basically a drag route and a crossing route read, um, which work really, really well against zone coverage. Another thing you could do, especially if you have hot route master, you could put Gronk on a crossing route and then motion him over. As you see, you're going to get that slot cross, um, but it's going to go from the tight end position. And this is just going to get even more depth uh, right there. I got a nice little throw out of sack. But you see it's able to get over the top of the defense. So, um, anyways, guys, that's Saints in. There's a lot you can do with it. Um, one other little quick setup off the top of my head um, is to do something like this, basically, to, you know, effectively you're going to you're gonna basically take your, your slot receiver, throw him on a crossing route. You got that route to McCoy. And then maybe doing something like, like this right here. You know, just a simple setup. Just a little bit more downfield. But you're just taking advantage of that double, um, that little inside post route, and then kind of running routes off of it that are going to be effective. So that's really um, the core of, of Saints in what you can do with it. If you have a hot route master, obviously there's a plethora of things. I really like um, one other setup I wanted to give you really quickly is I also really like to run just a basic mesh, right? Just a basic mesh from the drags, and then taking Mike Evans. If I have hot route master, if I have the ability to do this, putting him on a corner route. And just letting these drags just work man coverage. Um, these drags will kill man coverage. The one thing is you got to be a little careful with that one guy so he doesn't randomly stop like he just did. You just have to make sure that. But the beauty of the, the compressed formation is you're always going to be in a place where you're going to be able to get inside leverage. You're going to be able to just kind of work the ball up and down the field on this. Um, not sure. I didn't mean to throw that to uh, to guy when I meant to hit the corner out. But you're going to have you know kind of a combination of things that you can do. Um, as far as this goes, the other thing that you can do as well, um, you know, is just natural rubs and natural picks. So you could run something like this, but motioning Scotty Miller out to get him unbumpable. And now he's running across and I got to wait for him to get to the hash marks before I throw it. But you see the idea of what I'm trying to do, um, you know, with this. Another thing you could do is motion, motion over Evans. So now he's unbumpable. As you see here, he's in a tight end position. And so now you're just running mesh. 
you know, and you see here, I mean, these things, these little crossers are going to beat man to man. So that's the video. Um, real quick, if you haven't joined the text message membership, that video is coming out soon. Probably going to do a defensive video this week. I actually posted a poll on the channel. So if you haven't voted yet, you can vote. But basically, um, text message membership, for those of you that don't know what it is, something I do for my uh, channel for completely free. Literally, all you have to do is just text me to sign up for it. My number is 812-216-3644. That's my personal cell phone number. You can ask me any Madden question you want. Um, but basically, what we're going to be doing is every single week, I release to you a full scheme. It might be a full offensive scheme, a full defensive scheme, something. And typically, those schemes are very high-level schemes. Um, they might be something that pro players using. They might be something that I find on my own, but they're typically very in-depth videos. Uh, most people say that they're kind of like mini eBooks, if you will. Um, but they give you full scheme. It's, 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 it, you know, it's, it's very effective schemes in Madden. And I break them down every single week in my text message membership. We add a new one to the, to the mix every week. So if you're interested in getting those videos, all you got to do is shoot me a text message. My number is 812 216 3644. Thanks for watching today, guys, and we'll see you guys on our stream tonight.